What are three tips home buyers can do to increase their chances of success in 2022? Stay tuned. I will give you that answer. Growing up here in the St. Louis area, I learned about hard work from my father who owned a local waste collection company. I loved attending Cardinals and Blues games whenever possible. Now I spend my time helping others move here and build a life for their families. I'm Brian Vogt. Come with me as I show you the best of living the St. Louis Metro East lifestyle. Brian Vogt here. In 2020, the world changed forever and so did real estate. Unfortunately, there are a lot of new agents on the block and even many seasoned agents that still think we're in 2019 and are advising their clients the same. With that said, I want to give you three tips if you're looking to buy that can have definitely increase your odds of success. So hopefully that this year is the year 2022 of getting that dream home that you're looking for. However, understanding that one of the things that are still driving it is this low, low interest rates that we have. They are amazingly low and buyers are able to get thousands upon thousands of dollars of savings to the life of their loan when they buy now. Having said all that though, it's important to understand that they will be going up. We just don't know when and we don't know how much. So let's dig into three tips. Number one, for buyers, if you see a home, you like it or love it, buy it. There are a few buyers who feel they need or want their friends or family members to see it also. That's fine but then give them fair notice that you're planning on buying a home and they need to go when you go. In this tight market, I've seen too many times when buyers lost out for, on their dream home just because they didn't take action. Don't let that be you. Number two, get a pre-approved letter before you go to buy. The good news is most buyers are doing so already, but there are still too many buyers out there that are getting a pre-qualification letter and not a pre-approval letter. Sellers are smart. They know the difference. And I've heard too many stories where the buyer's offers didn't even get looked at because they were only qualified to buy the home, not approved to buy the home. That's a big difference in sellers' minds. Here's the good news. By getting pre-approved, you'll get to know how much you can afford and you'll be in the running if there is other offers on the table. Number three, consider buying a home you like and learn to love it. The homes that are in pristine condition and have all the bells and whistles are great and that's fantastic, but that brings in so, so many more buyers, maybe seven, eight, nine offers at a time. However, if you look for a nice home that you could make your own and then fall in love with it, chances are you won't have near as much competition or maybe even none, thereby only have to pay asking price. And one more final tip. If you have been wanting to buy or even thinking of buying and you don't have a long-term lease, meaning that you're renting, but a rather a month to month, don't be surprised if your landlord gives you notice to be out in 30 days. With so many landlords not getting paid and others seeing what they can get now for selling the properties, more and more landlords are making the decision to sell and leaving many of the renters in the lurch. If that's you, or if you think it might be you, give me a call today. I have several homes coming on the market in all different price ranges for you to choose from that could help you with your problem. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell to not miss another episode. Until the next episode, make it a great day. Got a question about real estate around the St. Louis Metro East area? Call me, Brian Vogt, at 618-210-2451. Or for a free copy of my Amazon number one best-selling book, Ready, Set, Sold, visit my website, brianvogt.com. Thank you for tuning in. This is Brian Vogt. Until next time on Living the St. Louis Metro East Lifestyle.